Meine Damen und Herren, herzlich willkommen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our press conference here at the Frankfurt International Motor Show. There is no doubt the question of sustainable mobility is placing this year's show in the public eye to a degree seldom seen before. We are currently experiencing an unprecedented breadth of demand for rapid action to protect the climate. This movement is picking up momentum across national borders and is appealing to all levels of society and every age group. One focus of current demands is to reshape mobility in a way that quickly and drastically cuts CO2 emissions. This is also our vision at CF. CF is fully committed to the targets set in the Paris Climate Agreement. Socially acceptable solutions must be found and implemented now if we are to mitigate the consequences of climate change. And to make it quite clear, simply abstaining from mobility, as often demanded these days, is not a practicable solution in many different respects. In recent decades, individual mobility has brought the people of Germany and elsewhere an unprecedented quality of life. Abstinence and turning back the clock have never been successful concepts in the past. What we must do instead is use technological advancements to sustain individual mobility and its freedoms. And we need to make them clean, safe and affordable in the long term for present and future generations. This is the approach of CF. As a provider of solutions in many transport segments, we are in a position to play a major role in that process. Let's take a look at the various different sources of emissions in Germany. Traffic and road traffic in particular generated around 19% of all greenhouse gas emissions in 2018. While other sectors must make every effort in parallel to do their part, it is up to us to optimize this traffic-related element in particular, quickly and sustainably. And this is absolutely necessary. This is what our motto for this year's show illustrates. On our show stand, CF is using the hashtag Mobility Life Balance to showcase the technologies available to us that can restore balance between humanity and our need for mobility, because this has been severely disrupted. Mobility for many, especially in urban areas, has become a burden. CF is therefore investing in areas of technology that are especially promising for the future because they address these problems. For instance, electro electric mobility. CF has a clear position here. We don't favor any single form of electrification. Instead, we are developing several types of drive simultaneously as part of a broad-based and technologically open approach. This is how we facilitate pragmatic solutions for every driver and make the switch to an electrified vehicle more attractive for many customers, because every gram of CO2 counts. Even today, CF is electrifying all classes of vehicles. In the micromobility sector, our subsidiary CF Sachs Micromobility just unveiled our new range of drive systems last week. The flagship is the powerful Sax RS motor. Its torque output of 110 newton meters is almost 50% more than that delivered by today's regular performance motors. This new dimension of power is well suited for e-mountain bikes, for instance, but especially it is suited for cargo bikes, this is the segment that is the fastest growing at the moment. In the city, a cargo bike electrified by us offers new potential for CO2 reduction for craftsmen, delivery services and families. Because like uh, this, 
We can reduce or dispense uh, with altogether the need for a vehicle with an internal combustion engine. In public transport, our electric portal axle is already enabling more than 100 million passenger kilometers with zero local emissions, resulting in more than 7,000 fewer tons of CO2 emissions per year. We are the market leader in Europe for the electrification of buses. Berlin, Milan and Hamburg are the next cities where buses equipped with our e-drives will enter service. And the demand is high. Right now, we are seeing contracts for our electric portal axle doubling year on year. The next technological step for avoiding CO2 emissions will be robotaxis and also the wider segment of ride-hailing services, which is still very much in its infancy. Intelligently controlled fleets of autonomous vehicles, especially in urban areas, will reduce the need for individual cars without passengers having to sacrifice comfortable transportation directly to their desired destination. In this respect, we support the concept of dedicated lines for these vehicles. Autonomous shuttles are already now capable of operating with less complexity and without legislative restrictions. Many cities are currently equipping these lanes for the existing public transport. With the new CF concept of robo-shuttles, the first application will be realized at Brussels Airport by 2021. And we have contracts for projects in other cities in Europe and also outside of Europe too. The vehicle here, by the way, shows the technologies that uh, we provide for robotaxis. By providing these dedicated lanes for automated shuttles, local authorities can make a big contribution in bringing this CO2 reducing technologies to the road very quickly. As well as being environmentally friendly, the electric robot taxis also boast low operating costs. The this means public transport can be made more affordable than this is possible with existing concepts. At the same time, we are gathering valuable experience for the automation of robot taxis in the complex inner city traffic. Well, this is still a few years away, but the concept of the driverless electric shuttles in dedicated lanes sets the first key cornerstone for the use of automation in real-life scenarios, and it also promotes acceptance among uh, the citizens. ZF's expertise in vehicle safety means that this new type of vehicles will be exceptionally safe from the very start. This is crucial in order to alleviate fears and to convince city dwellers to abandon their cars in favor of the robo shuttles. With an anticipated market volume of around 1.5 million vehicles in the next four to five years, we are on the threshold of a new and clean mobility solution, especially in urban areas. Our ideas are also helping to sustain individual mobility with passenger cars while making it cleaner at the same time. For fully electrified cars, ZF offers a complete range of electric drives. And we're constantly researching and developing the technical potential for the optimization further. The new electric CF two-speed drive incorporates a newly developed electric motor paired with a compact transmission and the power electronics. It's a perfect combination of our know-how and expertise. The improved efficiency compared to previous electric uh, drives, conventional ones, delivers greater range per battery charge. In the WLTP cycle, it amounts to up to 5%. Ladies and gentlemen, moreover, we are convinced that the plug-in hybrid technology has enormous potential to grow the market share of electric mobility quickly 
and therefore to help achieve economies of scale. The main reason why the uptake of all electric vehicles is not moving faster is the public charging infrastructure, because it's extremely inhomogeneous and it can't be expanded overnight. This causes consumer uncertainty, leads to fears, to being stranded with an empty battery, so-called range anxiety. This cannot happen with a plug-in hybrid. The potential is reflected in the extremely positive media feedback we are seeing at the moment, as well as in the many vehicles celebrating their premiere here at the trade fair in Frankfurt. Vehicles such as the new BMW 3 Series Hybrid with our current electrified 8-speed automatic transmission enable an all-electric range of 60 to more than 80 kilometers. CF is committed in this pursuit, and our concept for this is called EV Plus, electric, electric Vehicle Plus. In the EV Plus system, we increase the secured electric range of a medium-sized vehicle based on plug-in hybrid technology to more than 100 kilometers. With just one single battery charge, this electric range would cover more or less the entire daily mobility needs of an average family, including commuting to work, which in Germany, on almost 90% of all cases, is less than 50 kilometers. True e-mobility is enabled for a uh, broad customer group with just one family car. People will be able to drive in city centers on electricity alone, which means zero local nitrogen oxide emissions and considerably lower particulates. It provides a lasting solution to the debate surrounding driving bans and the resulting mobility restrictions. Corresponding driving strategies and control mechanisms, technically known as geofencing, can ensure in the future that EV plus vehicles are actually running on electricity alone in city traffic. The internal combustion engine delivers the necessary range for occasional long distance journeys. That is an important factor for widespread acceptance. The technologies for implementing our EV Plus concept in a mid-sized vehicle are already available. Our prototype, according to WLTP, achieves a purely electric range of 155 kilometers. It has also demonstrated its everyday usability in an independent test that was conducted by Europe's biggest car magazine in terms of circulation. This test took place in the um, past weeks. We can announce one result of this uh, today in advance. The test has not been published so far. The test editors achieved with our prototype a maximum electric range of 181 kilometers. Tests like this one showcase the potential of the EV Plus concept and build trust among car drivers in the improved technology. Because at the end of the day, it's their purchasing decision alone that will determine the success of electric mobility. We will make further considerable progress with our next plug-in hybrid generation that uh, will start volume production in 2021. The reduction of CO2 emissions compared to a current conventional drive with an automatic transmission amounts to 80%. The EV Plus concept has further potential and demonstrates that the plug-in hybrid has a crucial role to play in the electrification of the car. Our customers, the car makers, also think it's a sound proposition for the future. We have now received several major contracts for our new plug-in hybrid generation of transmissions. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see we must use all avenues available to us if we are to address the challenges arising through the 
reconciliation of individual and sustainable mobility. ZF is pursuing a technologically open approach to driveline development. First and foremost, here's electri electric mobility, which begins with the parallel advancement of hybridization and a purely battery electric drives providing incentives and supporting the customer on their journey towards electric mobility is more likely to result in a solution, especially in the short run, than imposing bans, regulations and mobility restrictions. Attractive technical concepts such as those presented, together with the rapid expansion of the charging infrastructure or the dedicated lanes for the automated electric shuttles in uh, city centers can convince people to change their existing habits in favor of new and environmentally friendly options. It also means that also in this currently challenging market conditions, we are not moving away from development and investment targets we have set for these future technologies. The demands for sustainable mobility mentioned at the beginning, without doubt, are unleashing forces and are justifiably denouncing the negative sides of mobilities. We have to pay tribute to this and respect this. However, we also note that other than the call to abstain, there's generally very little proposed in the way of solutions. This is where we see a big opportunity for ZF, with the right offering of pragmatic solutions that are sustainable and efficient, safe and comfortable, and at the same time accessible and affordable, we are now more than ever before in a position to define the roadmap for the mobility of the future. And it is a future that ZF will and wants to continue to shape. Thank you very much.